Colonel. That fox is fast. You're fighting Fox, eh, Snake? His full name is Fox McCloud. He's the leader of the Commando for Hire unit, Star Fox. They're mostly active in a galaxy known as the Lilat system. Fox and his comrades pilot all-terrain fighter crafts called R-Wings. His skills in combat can turn the tide of any battle. You seem to have a thing with foxes, don't you, Snake? No, don't remind me. First foxhound, and now this guy. I'm sick of foxes. You and foxes have a long history together. You ought to be proud. This is Snake. Copy, Snake. This is Slippy. What? Who is this? What are you? Some kind of frog? Easy there, buddy. Just thought I'd hop on the wireless and give you a holler. Don't get mad. Hacked right into my channel, huh? But I'm not here to mess nothing up. Don't worry. <sighs> Just so you know, Falco uses a blaster and reflector that I designed. Just like Fox does. But Falco will kick his reflector and send it flying around. Just showing off if you ask me. No reason a weapon can't have more than one use. In fact, I'd say its versatility shows how well you designed it. Hey, maybe so. I feel all fuzzy now. Thanks, Snake. Maybe next time we meet, you can design me a weapon. There's a guy in here who looks like a wolf. You mean the fighter named Wolf? Wolf? That's a real imaginative name. He's the leader of a ragtag team called Star Wolf. They're the longtime rivals of Star Fox. Kinda strange for a wolf to have friends, isn't it? Well, I don't think he works well with others. I suppose they're more like hangers-on than actual comrades. But he's a remarkable pilot, and his ship, the Wolfen, is no slouch either. But this is hand-to-hand -hand combat, Colonel. He's out of his element. Careful, Snake. Those claws of his aren't just for show. Hey, Otacon. I got a woman here in a power suit. Huh? How did you know she was a woman? Yeah. That'd be Samus Aran, the most renowned bounty hunter in the galaxy. Her arm cannon packs quite a wallop. If you get hit with a charged shot from that thing, you can kiss your butt goodbye. Hmm. Sounds like my kind of woman. Yeah, well, just don't get too close, Snake. Samus is deadly. After space pirates killed her parents, she was raised by the Chozo and trained in the fighting arts. She's been places and seen things that people like you and me can't even begin to imagine. Oh, but underneath that cold, metal exterior beats the heart of a woman. <laughs> Mei Ling, Samus took her clothes off. That's just her in the Zero Suit, Snake. Without that bulky power suit, she's gotten a lot more agile. You know, I bet if I took off all this heavy gear, I could catch her. Uh, yeah, you wish. Even without the power suit, all that training she did with the Chozo has made her a super athlete. I don't think a normal human could ever keep up. Just look at her. <sighs> her loss. Hey, that's Captain Falcon, isn't it? Good eye, Snake. He's F-Zero pilot number seven. You know, seeing Captain Falcon here reminds me, we should do that thing we've always wanted to try. Oh, yeah, that thing. Good idea. Okay, ready, go. Falcon punch. Falcon kick.
snake. Have you ever heard of the ancient Chinese story, The Vain Ocean of Wealth and Splendor, from the Zhen Zhongji? I've been waiting for the movie. Basically, it's meant to express the impermanence of all things. You know, like even when Captain Olimar has lots of Pikmin with him, they could all be gone the next moment. Those poor little guys, they carry, they fight, they multiply, and they get eaten. Olimar might have lots of company one minute and be all alone the next. It's so sad. But he can pluck out more Pikmin anytime he wants, right? Well, yeah, I suppose so. No one truly fights alone. Not even me. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Snake. Good luck. I'm rooting for you. <laughs>